Chelsea boss Mauricio Pochettino believes that Cesare Casade can make an impact in the first team after returning from his loan spell at Leicester City. Casade spent the second half of last season on loan at Reading and the first half of this season with promotion chasing Leicester City, but now he is back at Stamford Bridge. Casade's loan at Leicester has been mixed. He only managed eight starts in the league and another 14 appearances as a substitute. The 21-year-old has scored two goals in his last six appearances for the Foxes, but has found it difficult to nail down a starring role. Chelsea have now recalled Casade and boss Mauricio Pochettino appears keen to keep him in West London. Speaking to Football London ahead of tonight's Carabao Cup semi-final against Middlesbrough, Pochettino said Casade's time at Leicester was fantastic. Pochettino admitted how painful it was to send Casade out on loan as he worked so hard during pre-season. Now, back with Chelsea, Pochettino feels that Casade can have an influence and contribute to Chelsea's struggle even though he is often in and out of Leicester. Sky Germany have claimed that Matthijs Delight will be available for a transfer this summer. The 24-year-old has struggled for playing time at Bayern Munich this season, and this has led to much speculation in the media, suggesting that Bayern may be open to the idea of letting him leave in the January transfer window. Premier League clubs such as Arsenal, Manchester United and Chelsea have all been linked with a move for the Dutch defender over the past few weeks. Germany's Sky Sports claims that Bayern may be open to letting Delight leave the club at the end of the season, when they would have more of a chance of quickly finding a replacement for the Dutchman. It's no secret that Chelsea may need to add a new centre-back, as reports suggest that Thiago Silva is set to leave the club and Delight could be an ideal signing. He's still young enough to be handed a big contract by Chelsea, and he's talented enough to be a brilliant addition to the squad, so he's clearly the type of player the Blues board would want to sign. So if the reports are true, and Bayern are willing to let the defender leave the club at the end of the season, then it is likely that Chelsea will make a bid for the player. Chelsea are reportedly keeping tabs on Aston Villa striker John Duran, according to Fichages. The 20-year-old has the ability to prove himself as a reliable Premier League striker, but he needs regular opportunities. Chelsea could certainly use more quality and depth in their attack, and the 20-year-old would be a long-term investment for them. The Colombian striker could develop into a useful first-team player for them with the right training. Mauricio Pochettino has helped nurture talented young players throughout his managerial career, and he can also help the Villa striker fulfill his potential. It remains to be seen whether the West Midlands club are prepared to sanction his departure. Chelsea are going through a tough time at the moment, and they finished mid-table last year. However, they are one of the biggest clubs in the world, and the opportunity to play for them would be an attractive proposition for the young striker. Thiago Silva has been declared the least clumsy and error-prone defender in the Premier League, according to a study by online ticketing platform TicketGum. Following the veteran Brazilian centre-backs on this list are William Sliba, Arsenal, Manuel Akanji, Manchester City, Rodri, Manchester City, and Mickey van de Ven, Tottenham Hotspur. This season, Silva has recorded an impressive passing accuracy of 94% in the Premier League a testament to his reliable nature. Even at the age of 39, Silva is one of Chelsea's most important players, having appeared in 23 matches in various competitions this season. Karim Benzema to Chelsea. Chelsea have not signed anyone this month, something that is rare in the Todd Bailey era. The Blues have been linked with a big move for Karim Benzema, who is reportedly unhappy with life in Saudi Arabia. According to Football London, the Frenchman will hold tense talks with current club Al Ittihad as he tries to leave for Europe. Chelsea recalled Andre Santos from his loan spell at Nottingham Forest earlier this month. Things haven't gone well for Andre Santos at the city ground, with the midfielder failing to make a Premier League start. According to the Evening Standard, he will now wait until next week before deciding whether to stay at Chelsea or go out on loan again. It looks like it won't be long before Chelsea fans find out what will happen to Santos. We think another loan might be best for him. If possible, Chelsea should loan Santos again, 
And if they are able to do so, hopefully his tenure will be much better than his spell at Forest, which shouldn't be too difficult considering he only made one Premier League appearance there. Chelsea's £50 million man likely to be sold. Staff feel he is not performing well enough. London's First Max claims that some staff at the club believe that Raheem Sterling's performance is not good enough to warrant the salary he is currently receiving. Sterling has remained an important player under Mauricio Pochettino this season, but his place in the team is under threat. The England international is also not the right player in terms of attack at the moment. And now there are claims that a move could be discussed soon after seeing he is not performing to the standard they believe he should be. Max from London's first claims, he said, Sources have told me that Raheem Sterling is likely to be a player on sale, but it is currently seen as a situation to seriously sit down and have further discussions in 2025. Some people at the club felt that he was not performing consistently enough for the huge wages he received of £300, 000 plus, with reports suggesting that the Blues are not yet done signing players to strengthen their attack in the upcoming transfer window. It may make sense that they would want to sell Sterling in the coming months. Chelsea have been keeping tabs on Nice star defender Jean-Claire Todibo ahead of a possible move for the defender. It's no secret that Thiago Silva wants to leave the club at the end of the season and return to his native Brazil, meaning the Blues are looking for an immediate replacement for the Brazilian. And this has scouts keeping a close eye on Tobibo's performances, who have attracted plenty of Premier League interest over the last few seasons. It is believed a fee of £40 to £50 million would be enough to complete a deal with such a major company. And Fabrizio Romano told Givem Esport, From what I know, Chelsea have been involved in some scouting activities, but they have not initiated any negotiations with the player's camp or NICE. They know that the player is unlikely to be sold in the January transfer window. NICE will only sell to Debo for a very important price, not 35 million euros or 40 million euros as reported in the media. <laughs> Troy Deeney believes Brentford striker Ivan Toney would be a perfect fit for Chelsea. The former Watford striker joined TalkSport following Tony's return to Brentford and identified where he might head next, claiming he could be the perfect addition to the Chelsea side. Deeney said, You know who will score, he lives for the headlines. He has the same unwavering self-confidence and unwavering self-confidence as most footballers, but his determination is stronger mixed with arrogance. Total transparency, I think he looks tired and that's normal. Usually he will go down inside. Put it in the box and then go into the box. I thought about it a few times, but he managed to control himself very well. He will only get bigger, better and stronger. I think if they can keep it up between now and the end of the season, they've done very well. I keep saying it, I've said it before, but I think Chelsea is the perfect landing place for him. <laughs>